Hey everybody, I'm I Will Mind Your Face, and welcome to Flans Tech and More. Today we will be doing a little bit of trolling, but before we get into that, let's talk about today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is me, MinersNeedCoolShirts.com. If you're looking to support the channel and get some cool merch in the process, consider heading over to MinersNeedCoolShirts.com. Thank you. So what exactly are we going to do today? Well, earlier, I found that somebody has been tapping into one of the group ender chest. So this ender chest is set to white, white, white. So let's say, for example, I stick a torch in there. Look at what happens to this torch. It disappears. So that means somebody is stealing from this ender chest. So what we're going to set up is a little bit of spam and we're going to do a little bit of trolling on whatever system that they have in place so in order to do this we will have to set up a few things the first thing that we're going to do is determine the block that we want to spam them with the block that i'm the, i've chosen to do is cobblestone as you can see here we can generate cobblestone almost instantaneously and have 64 blocks at once. So what we're going to do is that exact thing. We're going to spam this ender chest with cobblestone. So the system that is in place, their storage system, is more than likely an ME system. An ME system has a limited number of blocks that it can store, and once that single cell or drive fills up, it will just roll over to the next cell, and the next cell, and the next cell, and the next cell, so on so forth, until all the drives fill up and the user can't put anything else inside of their ME system. They can only take stuff out. Now the problem with doing this with cobblestone is that you can actually compress cobblestone. And it becomes a useful building, not building material, it becomes a useful crafting material. Um, but outside of that fact, it will be very annoying to craft a few hundred thousand blocks of cobblestone into compressed cobblestone. So to get things started, we're going to take down this setup over here that's generating the, the structure to my base. Uh, so we need mechanical pipes, which I have conveniently placed in this bag right here. So mechanical pipes, ender tanks, rose red dye, and more igneous extruders. I've went ahead and crafted all of these beforehand, but if you're thinking about doing the same thing, they're pretty easy to craft, really cheap items. So what we're going to do is set up a little cross at the bottom and in the corner. We're going to set our tank, our water tank. On this server, the blue, blue, blue feature has an unlimited supply of water and the red, red, red for the top part of the ender tank has an unlimited amount of lava. And so we're going to set it to extract the water from this tank and we're going to place our igneous extruders on top. Now, in order for these igneous extruders to be configured for this particular thing we're doing, we um, have to go inside. We have to go inside of each one of them. So we're going to set our bottom to blue and our top to blue and our side to orange. And this, this should stay the same throughout all of them. All right, so we have our first little setup done. Now we have to put our ender, our next ender tank. This one is our lava filled one. We can take a mechanical pipe, connect all of the igneous extruders up to that one tank and have it start pulling lava from the tank. So now we're generating cobblestone, and the reason why we're able to generate 64 is because of our various augmentations. So you have to have each one of these for it to work. So the level 1, level 2, and level 3. 
And if we take a look inside this ender chest, we can see that cobblestone is being deposited into it. Next, we're going to build this one more time, except on top we'll have water instead. All right, and then lastly, we take our water tank, get more of the mechanical pipes, connect it up, use our configurator, set it to extract or pull, and boom, we're generating even more cobblestone. So if we take a look in the chest, we are generating so much cobblestone that it wouldn't be impossible for most systems to even comprehend this right the highest amount of storage would definitely be able to take this but most people on the server don't have that and so eventually after after a few hours of afking they'll walk they'll they'll come into their base and be like oh my gosh why why do i have a few million cobblestone because this easily generates a few thousand every few seconds, you know? So it's just an absurd amount of cobblestone. <laughs> it's it's genuinely it's genuinely insane. But that's what it takes to do a little bit of trolling. And we could we could scale it up even more. We could keep stacking them on top of each other or expand it sideways. Really, the choice is yours and how much you like how much trolling you genuinely want to do it also really depends on how fast they're trying to extract from this ender chest and it looks like they're extracting pretty fast which tells me that they either have a mechanical pipe or a logic pipe pulling from this ender chest or they're using an me system with max upgrades so chances are it's that they are just depositing it depositing it all into their enemy system and it, i think it's so funny i can't wait until somebody logs in and it's like huh why do i have why do i have 20 million cobblestone what is wrong with you guys <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be genuinely so awesome but that concludes this part of the video i'd like to say thank you so much for watching and if you really if you liked this type of content something new from me, make sure you like and subscribe. You know, it'll show me that people enjoy this type of content and, uh, you know, it'll, it'll push me further in the algorithm. Thank you. Thank you. For the next part of this video, we will be getting into a little bit of an unboxing. I was recently gifted the YouTuber gift pack and it has a whole bunch of very cool stuff in it. I might even give away a few of these things in a future video. So, comment if you play on the server, and I might select you to win something. So, in this gift pack, we've received a few things. We've received some vote keys, some rare keys, unique keys, a reforged crate key, a full set of spec ops armor, an IA-2 with some rifle magazines, a cookie, some random tags, some random styles, particle effects, legendary weapon crates, uh, ammo cases, so a few of the world event um, starts, along with some supply drop flares. Now a lot of this can be activated at spawn, and, the, uh, and all of the events are revolved around spawn locations. So there's this area known as the park, where chest will spawn known as an envoy if you see those little fireworks in the sky that shows you that an envoy is happening and you can go and find and break chest and get really really good items another thing you can do is vote for the server and you get the chance to win uh or get the chance to obtain a few different items and 
the key system is pretty much very standard compared to most servers. Um, there's also playtime rewards that you can get. Um, if you, like, buy these, you can get more homes or you can access different parts of the world. So it's very, very interesting. Uh, there's always a thing that you can do on the server, especially when it comes to factions. Oh my goodness, you can go and raid people for days, and it's just a lot of fun in general. One thing that I will do is open one of each of the crates just to show how that system works. So for our vote key, let's just check out what we get. So TNT. So TNT is really good because it allows us to do raids on other factions. In fact, the obsidian can be broken using TNT. If we type in our NEI or um, JEI uh, obsidian, we can see that it takes 12 TNT to destroy obsidian, and it doubles if water is around it. For our next crate, we'll do our rare crate. We got some contractor armor, the, th the third best armor in the game. I think, yeah, yeah. It's either third or second best, but it's pretty good. For our next crate, we will be doing an un a unique key. And we got four times tactical armor. The second, the third worst armor in the game? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and then lastly, we'll be doing the reforge crate key. This is probably the most expensive key in the game. And we got 16 creeper at spawn eggs, which isn't too bad, but it's not the best thing we could have gotten, but that's okay. You know, you don't get, you don't get lucky every single time. This part happened after the end of the video, uh, when I stopped recording and all of a sudden I took a look in the ender chest and they're having, they're struggling, <laughs> they're struggling to keep up with how much I'm producing. Dude, this, <laughs> dude, this is amazing. This is so funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs>